All right. Well, I think uh, we've made our point very clear today. Evidence uncovered uh, has shown a very disturbing trend by the Biden family. We've spent months in this investigation accumulating evidence. Uh, we have a simple question that I think an overwhelming majority of Americans have. What did the Bidens do to receive the tens of millions of dollars from our enemies around the world? Uh, today's unanimous vote uh, by our conference showed that we are united as a conference. Uh, we expect to have uh, people honor our subpoenas. Uh, we want to wrap this investigation up, but obviously uh, you get to the, the deposition phase. Uh, before you wrap up an investigation. So uh, that's where we are. Uh, we're very pleased with the vote today. I think that sent a message loud and clear to the White House. Uh, we expect you to comply with our information requests and our subpoenas. With that, I'll turn it over to Chairman Jordan. Yeah, I would just say that um, the House has now spoken, and I think pretty loudly, pretty clearly, with every single Republican voting in favor of moving into this official impeachment inquiry phase of our constitutional duty uh, to do oversight. So when a majority of the House goes on record in support of an official impeachment inquiry uh, with the power that resides solely in the House of Representatives, this impeachment power, I think that sends a message. And as, as uh, Chairman Comer just pointed out, we now think this helps us get the witnesses, the key witnesses that we want. There were three names mentioned in the resolutions, 918, 917 resolutions, three names. One, of course, was the President of the United States, Joe Biden. The other two names are two lawyers we want to talk to. I said this on the House floor, who DOJ is refusing to allow us to talk to. Uh, Mark Daly and Jack Morgan. We think it'll help us get those those key individuals in to, to speak to us in a more timely fashion and get us the documents that Mr. Comer um, has been after for a while. So uh, we think this is a, a strong message from the House, a strong message from the Republican conference and that every single member voted for it. Thank you all very much. Uh, we're going to work on that as quick as we can. But there has to be, uh, we have to put together a resolution. Uh, I assume that will go through Chairman Comer's committee, but we'll, we'll work on that. Our lawyers, the, the oversight lawyers, will put that together, talk to our members, and move forward with that as quickly as we can. What information, what information are you all waiting on that you all have not received from NARA or the White House? Jamie can talk to that, but, but the, as far as witnesses go, I've said this many times, we want to talk to all the partners. We want to talk to Rob Walker, Eric Schwerin, Tony Bobulinski, uh, Jim Biden. We want to talk to the guy who paid his taxes, Kevin Morris paid Hunter Biden's taxes. Uh, we have Miss Wolf who's coming in. Uh, we, we're, we're getting a chance to talk to her soon. Um, and then we want to talk to Sally Painter and, and Traumatana who were with Blue Star Strategies. Um, all those individuals are important. And then we still want to talk to Hunter Biden, uh, but we'll, we, we want to talk to the, we'd like to talk to him in frankly that order. Now that there, there, uh, let me, there are 5,000, there are 5,000 uh, roughly emails in the pseudonyms. Uh, the National Archives has sent about 1,200 pages of that. So they're about a third of the way through. Uh, we know these pseudonym emails are important because I believe they were mentioned in the indictment in California. Uh, so we expect to get these. Obviously, they're an important part of the investigation. We've asked to speak with uh, Dana Remus and others in the White House, and they were told not to come. So it's very clear the White House has been uh, obstructing our investigation. I think the message sent today is very loud and clear. We expect them to comply. Thank you. Thank you.